Hey everyone, this is the uh, second part of the Symphony of the Night 80% speedrun tutorial. Um, this is just going to cover shield dashing. Uh, that's it. Because it's the most important speed tech in the game, uh, you're pretty much going to be doing it non-stop for half the run. Um, so, just to cover what shield dashing is, for those that don't know. So, they put this uh, dash move in as an evasive maneuver, primarily, as far as I can tell. Um, because you start out, like, really fast, right? And then you just slow down to a halt pretty soon. Um, now, you can do, like, a chain of this to make it go a little faster. If you, like, you know, push it in the right timing and everything. But, uh, you still have a little bit of slowdown at the end of the animation to deal with. Now, you can cancel out the dash completely with a variety of things. You can do a duck to cancel it. You can do a jump. You can do an attack, um, but you notice whenever you do any of these things, like like when I'm ducking, I can't backdash again, right, until I get up. When I'm jumping, obviously I can't backdash. When I'm attacking, I need to wait for that attack to fully finish. But when you are pushing the shield, you notice the shield, uh, you have to hold it, hold the button for it to come all the way out. When you're just tapping it, it kind of like flips back on its own. So. Uh, basically, to have really effective, like, non-stop dashing, just get the front end of it, non-stop, like, the f maximum speed you can go. Uh, you're just basically, you know, canceling out, uh, the shield of the dash, and then dash with the shield, just non-stop, uh, canceling out each other. And when you get it really fast, it starts looking like this, and then, uh, you notice that's a significantly faster... Uh, time getting across the room than just doing this. Um, so, before I show you my method of doing it, I'm going to show you Satori's because for most people, that's going to be easier to learn. And also, it has its advantages. Um, you saw I was using two hands there, and I have to move my left hand over to the left side of the controller really fast to do other stuff. Whereas this, you have your left hand on the left side of the controller the entire time. And, um... You're just going to be using your right hand for the shield dash. So, uh, let's go ahead and see what Satoru has to say about how he does this. Who is I use just my thumb. I have, um, see, the tip of my thumb is on triangle, which is, you know, which is back dash, like that. And the, um, this part of my thumb right here, like, the middle, is on circle, which is shield. So that with one motion, they kind of, um... With one motion, I get different times out of them. Okay, so, uh... What he didn't mention there, but he elaborated on the live tutorial we did, was uh, he's actually twitching his arm the entire time when he has his uh, different parts of the thumb on the buttons. Uh, that's how you mash. You don't. People will think you mash with just like using your thumb to push the button. No, that's not going to go as fast as forcing your arm into the button. So, uh, yeah, just twitch your arm really fast when you're trying this, and uh, just look at what he does there, just watch it a few times, um, and, you know, that that's going to be the easiest way for most people to learn how to shield dash, uh, rather than my way, because my way, uh, it's a lot more awkward, takes a lot more dexterity, I guess, um, to be able to do other stuff besides shield dashing. So, uh, real quick though, I am going to cover it. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm using two hands, uh, I have my, let's see if we can get this little better view here. Um, I, so I have my left middle finger on the dash button, like that, and I have my right thumb on the, uh, shield button. And what I'm basically doing is I'm mashing with just my left hand, uh, as fast as I can, and then my right thumb just happens to be in a position, uh, like, you can try and see the position right here, it's kind of, like, curved into the button, so that when I'm, um, 
mashing, this other button uh, is being vibrated into my right thumb, and it's as if I was mashing at max speed with both, basically. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice, but, you know, it's pretty fast there when I'm doing it, so... The thing you have to master when you're doing this, more than anything, is uh, you have to move your left hand over to the other side of the controller really fast when you have to, like, attack enemies and stuff. And usually uh, what happens is I get a little bit of, like, a build-up I have to get again with the uh, shield dashing when I build it back up. So, uh, I talked about this with Satoru. Uh, we find that my method usually has a better max speed but uh, the drawback of having to switch over and lose, I don't know, some frames that way, lose some frames building back up the shield dash, uh, it makes it pretty much even out. So whichever you're more comfortable learning is uh, your choice completely. There's not one that's necessarily faster than the other or better for a speedrun. Um, now, I find my method, if you're using it on a PlayStation controller, it's a little more difficult um, on a PlayStation controller than an Xbox controller. You do need to, uh, like right now, I'm actually vibrating both. I don't know if you can tell from the um, camera how, with the low frame rate. Same with the Tories, you probably couldn't tell he was like twitching, but... Um, like on a PlayStation controller, I find I actually have to mash with both in rhythm. Um, whereas, Satori's method actually is harder on an Xbox controller, according to him. Slightly. I mean, not much different, but you'll just find that you may go a little bit slower on an Xbox controller. So, just keep that in mind. Um, next video is going to be covering, um, combat techs, basic combat techs, and also the route up through Slogar and Gaibon. Um... I can't really think of any other way, like, some other people try and do, like, a claw, like, uh, their right, like, index finger and, like, middle finger on the buttons. Don't do that, that's pretty slow. Uh, some people, like, you know, when Opus and it switches the controls. Uh, I know some people do the two-handed method, but use two thumbs instead of, uh, two, uh, instead of the middle finger and the right thumb. Um... So yeah, I mean, there's different things you can try. I find that a little more awkward for switching over when you have to do stuff, but, uh, you know, just find something that works right for you. I just wouldn't recommend doing the claw and doing, like, you know, just pressing it like this. But yeah, anything else is uh, good to go. So uh, see you in the next part of the tutorial.